just pour the liquid oxygen into this test tube. And then I'm going to give it to Dave. All right? Now, the first thing about liquid oxygen is it's blue. All right? I'm going to hold it against this surface here. I hope you can see it's blue. Liquid oxygen is the fuel of the space shuttle. So when you saw that horrible um, film, the space shuttle exploding, it was liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen. And once that fire had started, it was never going to go out. So Dave, can you take that please, mate? Got it? And there's the lid. Okay. We'll just let some of that evaporate off a little bit. Just hold that for me, please, because it's by the bottom. Got it? Right. So, we're just going to pull this out and take the liquid oxygen and pour it into the reaction vessel. There you go. Right, now straight away the oxygen boils, okay? It's boiling because as far as it's concerned, the reaction vessel is 200 degrees hotter than its boiling point, all right? So this is currently boiling away. Now we could have used just an oxygen cylinder, but like, what's the point? It's nice that you can see that little novelty item, which you probably won't see again unless you get someone as dumb as me to come and do a lecture for you, all right? Because there it is. Now we're gonna let that all evaporate away nicely, and what I'm looking for is a nice atmosphere of pure oxygen here, because the next step is to put the phosphorus in and then set fire to it. So phosphorus is our next element, and it's right in here. Now phosphorus is horrible. White phosphorus, there is nothing nice I can say about phosphorus. It's in Coca-Cola as phosphoric acid, but it's normally used to hurt people or to kill people. All right, phosphorus grenades, um, napalm, all that kind of thing. The only kind of fairly harmless thing is me doing my demonstration here. In a little while, we'll start the experiment and then we'll have the lights out, please, because it's going to make a nice glow and you'll see lots of tendrils of phosphorus pentoxide. Now, the reason I'm handling this so gingerly is because phosphorus spontaneously combusts in air. So when I pick it up, I'm on a little timer because if I don't do it fast enough, it'll catch fire when I'm holding it. Very funny for you, slightly less funny for me. So, be a little bit careful about it and just take my little piece here and pull this up first. In my crucible, nice and ready, and in it goes. And then I'm just going to reset and cover the phosphorus up. Dave's heating up a copper rod for me. We're ready on the lights. I've got an exhaust pipe there ready. Stop coughing, we haven't started yet. Right, ready? Ready with the lights, please. When it starts, we have the lights down. Three, two, one. Off it goes. Oh, off it goes. There's a phosphorus on the tendrils of P2O5. And the thing about this is it's not hot at all. It's cool to the touch, it's producing lots and lots of light. And give it up for the phosphorus sun.